it's Kira and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my, what month was that? July uh, haul for you guys. Sorry if this looks a little bit differently. I'm filming on my phone because my camera is currently being used by somebody else. So uh, I bought a lot of books, but the good thing is they were almost all of them. Well, one of them was free and all the other ones were bought at a used book sale. Um, there was one going on in near my hometown when I went home a couple weekends ago. And at first it was 50 cents per book, and then it was you could fill a bag for $5, or you could fill a box for $10, and me and my mom decided to split a box, so I got a whole bunch of books, and I only paid $5 for them. So, a lot of them I don't know much about, but we'll just get into it. So first up we have Front Lines by Michael Grant. Um, the only thing I know about this is this is... A World War II historical fiction, but if women had been involved in the draft as well. So all I know is there's women on the front lines of um, the of World War II, but I don't know anything else about that. Then we have Khan Academy by Joe Shriver. Shriver? I don't know. Um, this looks super fun. This is about two um, people, a guy and a girl who scam their way into, like, a private school, and so they make a bet. The winner gets more than just a high school diploma, um, so they have to figure out, like, who's double-crossing who and whatnot. It just sounds really fun. Then we have Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes. Uh, this is an Alice in Wonderland um, retelling of some kind about the Queen of Hearts. I really don't know anything else about that. <laughs> And then we have The Hearts We Sold by, this is by Emily Lloyd-Jones. Um, I remember this going around booktube a while back. Um, Fairy Loot or Owl Crate did an exclusive edition of this. Again, don't really know much about it. Um, there's a demon who is interested in the main character's heart. Um, so interesting could be very fascinating. Then we have Thief of Lies by Brenda Drake. This I got literally because it's the first book in a series, and the series is called Library Jumpers. It's a Library Jumpers novel. I know nothing about it other than that, and I'm like, jumping between libraries is right up my alley. After that, I have 12 Steps to Normal by Farah Penn. Um, this, I remember Emma from Emma Books talking about this, and I can't remember if she liked it or not. But I do remember her talking about this. But the main character's name is Kira, spelled the exact same way, which is super cool. My name isn't in a whole ton of books, so I just thought it was really fun. Um, it's about a main character, um, Kira, whose father um, enters rehab for his alcoholism. And something about like how their family um, deals with that and how Kira deals with that. So it could be, this sounds like, just very interesting. Then we have Stranger Than Fan Fiction by Chris Colfer. This has been on my TBR for four ever and I'm finally like have it in my possession. Um, it's something about this actor, famous guy, um, ends up on a road trip with four fans. So sounds fun. Next up we have Tumbling by Kalia, Kalia Carter. Um, about a girl trying to, I think there's a couple different girls, just kidding. There's a couple different girls who are trying to make it to the Olympics. With the Olympics currently happening when I'm filming this, they're almost done, but the Olympics are always my favorite time, especially the Summer Olympics because I love gymnastics and I try and follow that. That's like the one sport that I try and follow, like even in non-Olympic years, but yeah, it made me very excited. I feel like I've heard of this book, but I just hadn't got around to reading it. Then we have Storyteller by Patricia Riley Giff. This is a very tiny, thin book, um, but it's about a girl who, it's historical fiction, I believe, um, a girl who finds a drawing of um, one of her, is it her ancestor? I don't know, somebody who looks very similar to her. So it's just like a combination of like the character, the artist. I don't know if it's the artist or the girl who was being drawn, but whatever. It's, I don't know, storytelling. I don't really know, guys. They were all so cheap. I just had to get them. Then we have A History of Reading by Alberto Menguel. Menguel. You well, I don't know. Um, this is a nonfiction book, and it's about the history of reading. I thought it looked fascinating. Last up from that part of the haul is The Jewel by Amy Ewing. This has been on my TBR for a long time, too. These covers are just beautiful. Um, don't know anything about it either, but yeah, I'm excited to read it. 
And then the very last book that I have is one where I went on a trip to Waukegan, Illinois to visit an online internet friend, which was super cool. Highly encourage you guys to meet your internet friends if you can. Um, but I checked out the library there because I was there and why not? Also, they had air conditioning. Um, but they had a cart of books that you could just take for free that you could own. So I have Glamour and Glass by Mary Robert Robinette Cole. This is actually the second book in the series I found out, but this cover is really cool and it was free, so I'm like, oh, why not? So yeah, those are all the books that I got in the month of July. I have no place to put them because my shelves are completely full, so I'm gonna have to buy another bookshelf or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you've read any of these books, let me know down below. I'd love to know anything about any of them and if you think they're worthwhile or not. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to follow me on social media, all my links will be in the description as always. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!